And I'm live. Right here. Right here. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just waiting for a couple of people to tune in. How are we all this afternoon? Welcome back. I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are. Uh, I am having a very creative afternoon as part of the great international craft show number 12. Um, as much as I would love to do this live Facebook standing up, Louise, do you think I have a chair? <laughs> what are you making? I don't know, mate. And my laptop? Shivers. Shivers. Yeah, shivers. I think it's shivers. I'm coming, guys. Minor detail. Yeah, we're good. Good. You know, we've just been sitting here. Sitting here flicking through Facebook. As you do. <laughs> and I've still got, um, <laughs> I've got metallic flakes coming out of my ears. <laughs> they, like, literally, Louise just picked a piece off my ear. So we're still cleaning up from the previous one, and that's okay. I won't vacuum. She won't, you won't vacuum? No, let's not vacuum just yet. Um, all right, so let me just bring it up on screen here so I can see, oh, look, the whole team's here. Linda, Marilyn, Jeanette, Kayleen, how are we all? All righty. So we have got the last live Facebook of today, and <coughs> I have had an idea. Uh -huh. Just the one. Um, and of course, for those of you just tuning in for the first time, welcome. I am, Na my name is Natalie May. And I am probably one of the most honest and upfront store owners that you're going to get here in Australia. <laughs> and I'm happy to take that crown. So as part of the show, we are, we've got quite a few things on special for today. So very quickly, let me just fill you in. We have got um, a daily prize draw. So that means that one lucky order every day will go in the drawer to win a stamp set, a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp set, which is great for you because I've designed it. Uh, we have got 15% off of stamps, stencils and dies today only. And that also includes all Christmas things are 15% off. So that could be Christmas papers, Christmas decorations, Christmas stickers, Christmas stencils, designs, anything Christmas related is on special. We have got um, all sorts of stuff going on. We also have this little number here, this no judgment postage special. Um, so most of you are very familiar with it. What it means is $12.50 for your first order. And if you decide that you would like to order again over the weekend, then you can. You just need to pay $12.50 for your first Select no judgment on your other orders and then we'll put them all together and post them together. All right, so we're not posting until Monday and Tuesday, which means that there's plenty of time for you to add to your order. But you do need to pay for postage just that one time. All right, so if you are new here and you haven't paid for postage, that's okay. We'll be in touch with you and hit you up with a bill. Um, no, not really, but we will. Clearance section, check it out because there's a ton of clearance stuff. There's like Dilution stamps, there's um, All and Create stamps, there's Stencil Girl products in clearance. There's a huge range of stuff in clearance. So take a moment to go through. Some of you may have noticed that we have been doing some um, alterations to our website. So now you can see more items on a, on a page. It makes it much easier for you to flick through and have a look. Uh, we have got some bundles of goodness as well. So we have got a tag and stencil bundle, which will give you a packet of, very cool packet of journaling wood shapes from American Crafts. And some tags and, some, and a paper rose stencil. So, you know, about 20, 
27 to 30 dollars worth we've got that for 18.50 we have an embellishment bundle pack which is some vicky booten stickers some glitter paper and some kaiser craft wood shapes it's only 20 bucks uh 30 bucks worth so that's pretty good and the art by marlene lucky dip we only have two of those left good work lou um and they are 60 dollars worth for 36 and what's in your other hand what was under your arm there lou just right left Oh, let's have a look here. That's it. And this is it. Are they all the same colour palette? That's it. Oh. These, um, these guys here, we popped these on a nice, happy little discount too. So you'll find those in the show specials category. All right. Uh, as well as some Totally Tiffany storage solutions are also on special. Uh, so yeah, plenty of cool things going on. And that is the information about the daily prize draw. So you want to get on top of that. All right. Uh, the live, couple of live Facebooks I've done today already have been a hot mess of fun, which has been good. And you can go and see those, watch them back on uh, the Facebook channel or watch them on YouTube. Uh, they are already loaded up to YouTube. And this is what we did earlier today. What I thought I might do is have another play with some Art by Marlene products uh, and do a, I don't know if I want to do a single page or a double page. I've got a double page open, let's just do that. Hey, what do you reckon? Here it is in front of me. So Art by Marlene products are really, really designed for super creative people or not very creative people because we have got these wonderful paper pads. This is the Arty paper pad that came out with the latest collection, the Out of This World collection. This paper pad is very cool. I like it. It's got big images, big bright images, and it's got two of each of the images as well. So having a quick flick through, you've got images that you can cut out and add to your pages or your cards or your scrapbook pages. It's got gorgeous butterflies. It offers you some ideas here as well on how to add some, you know, create your own backgrounds. Uh, that's very, very cute little mouse. Then it's got some plain backgrounds that you can build on, collage paper. Uh, for those of you who love owls, there you go, because I know you're out there. What else have we got? This one is a little bit different, but it's an out of this world collection. So the paper allows you to build on it. Then we've got this cute little lady here um, with a drink in her hand. Bless her. I don't know if that's her hand actually. It's a bit weird. Anyway, we have got this little lady. We have got a space scene as well. So they're really, really good. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this one. I sat and cut it out in the 20 seconds that I had between, <laughs> between live Facebook. So I think I'm going to use this one on the page today. And that is out of this book here. So if you search online for Out of This World Arty Paper Pad on nataliemay.com.au, um, you will find it there. But after this live Facebook, I will link them to the page. Now, I'm also going to be using something out of this as well. This is a collage paper sheet. This has got 20 sheets in it of this lovely black and white design. But before I do that, I just want to add a little bit of gesso to my page because I want to make sure that I'm sealing my page a little bit and making my page white before before I add anything else. I'm just gonna do it roughly and then I'm gonna heat set it. I'm just using a, a little scraper here, nothing fantastic. It is just doing it so that it spreads it out and makes it pretty thin. Um, I actually think I got this, I've had it for 20 years. I've got no idea where I got it from, so please don't ask me. But for doing live Facebooks, it's quick and easy just to to do that. So what's happening, the gesso of course is just sealing my paper to make sure that it is all the one colour and I really did overdo it on the gesso. 
Let's just get that out the way before I spread that all over my brand new t-shirt with a rainbow on the front. There we go, and I'm just being a bit cheeky here and using paper towel to spread it out. And, right, now I'm gonna dry that off. So, art journaling, for those of you who don't know much about art journaling, is just a really fun and easy way of being creative. It is not suitable for everyone. It is a really loose way of being creative. Um, so it's something that makes me happy and something that is really easy for me to do, um, especially on a live Facebook because I really don't have much of a plan here other than going in and adding those couple of images to my page. So I'm going to start with adding some collage, some of this collage paper to my project. So it's got some really great prints in it. It's black and white. Uh, what do I wanna do? We've got like this ledger, that's nice. I like these letters. And to stick the stick that down, I need to use a gel medium, of course. I need to use that as my adhesive. And I'm going to be putting it down on there with my palette knife. So I'm gonna be, now, let's have a little think, Natalie, stop. She's gonna go there. So I don't wanna put any of the paper there. I wanna put it here. So when I add the paint over the top, in a minute, this will come through a little. And I'm going over the top as well, just to make sure that it's all stuck down. Bless you, Louise. Now you're sneezing. Now we've both got flakes up our nose, I reckon. Those gilding flakes, love them, but both of us ended up getting them absolutely everywhere. Very funny. So this is a catalyst tool. It is my favorite tool for putting um, gel medium and paint down on a project. It is my go-to item, as most of you may know. And I'm gonna pop some here. down the bottom here. Hello to everybody who's just tuning in. Welcome, welcome. I hope your day is going great and wherever you are, you are enjoying it. We are certainly enjoying it here in Adelaide. It is a beautiful day here. Um, I have spent all of it looking out at it. Oh, well, no, we did go and sit outside and eat our lunch today, but um, looking at it through the window, hanging out with you guys instead. All right, so that is semi stuck down. There's a couple of bits here that I've missed, but I'm just gonna crack into that like so. And now I'm gonna add some paint. So the paint that I'm using, I am going to be using my the Art by Marlene paints that I've got out here. And I'm also going to be using, I pulled out a couple of Dina Wakeley paints and a couple of Dilutions paints as well. I'm gonna mix things up a little today. Um, I need to put, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of paper towel under here just because I think I'm gonna be a little bit messier than I normally will because I wanna crack through this at a confident speed uh, and just, if you've got yourself a glass of wine, you can sit and just 
mute it, put some music on and watch for this afternoon, I reckon. Um, I, I think I'm just waiting for that paint to dry a little bit. Cracking it. Oh, you're traveling to Bathurst, Sandra. Actually, that is coming up, isn't it? The Bathurst weekend. All right, so I want her to sit about here on the page. But what I would like to do first of all is I need to have a bit of a think about the colors that are gonna go with this. I want to add some lovely rich colorings. So pulling out the Art by Marlene paints, I can see that we've got a bit of a fuchsia color here. In fact, where's my swatches? That would be the smart thing to do, is I have swatches. So fuchsia is a goer. This blue is quite nice. Where's the rest of them? Okay, so these are all the colors in the Art by Marlene paints. So I'm going to not use any fluoros. Clearly fluorescents are just gonna be well, they work that can work, but I, I don't think fluoros are something that I need for this project. Uh, these colours here in the background, I could probably use that one. That's quite nice. That is called Azura. That doesn't even sound right, does it? Uh, but I'm thinking that we head, need to head towards more ballet. Mermaid, Envy, Fuchsia, maybe a little yellow. Hey Lou, could you just grab my apron or one of the aprons out of the kitchen please? I've just gone paranoid now about getting paint on my t-shirt. Because I've said it out loud, you know what's going to happen. Um, I've also got uh, turquoise here, which is this really nice light colour that I do love from um, Dina Wakeley. Bit of tortoise. As we like to call it here at the studio, a bit tortoise. of tortoise. Don't ask why. It's, it's, it's just a thing. All right, so I've also pulled out that colour, that colour, that colour, and those two. So I may use those as well. But I want to get a little bit messy. So I'm going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to keep that popped off to the side there. But what I want to do first is I'm going to put a little circle in the background about here because that is where about where the face is going to sit, um, something like that, okay? So I don't need to stress too much about the paint that I pop in there. Hello, Michelle. You've been baking. Are you going to send us a little tin of Bickies, darling? Wouldn't that be nice? I think so. Pop a tin of Bickies in the post. Do you reckon they'll make it? Yeah. All right, so I just want to be really loose with my colorings today. I'm going to just pop a, a line of color out on the side here. This is my tear off paint palette. Um, I have to be aware of the colors that I put together. I, <laughs> um, I don't want to make anything too muddy so i have i'm having an awareness of the colors that are coming out uh and making sure that i won't be mixing colors together that are going to make brown okay so colors that are opposite on the color wheel of course are going to go brown so we really don't want to mix those colors together for some reason my oh now i've lost my safety pin Where? On the right-hand side. On the right-hand side? 
On the right hand, can you see it on the camera? Oh, oh, did you tidy too much? Maybe I over-tidied up. Oh, found it. Stop looking, stop looking. So I did mention earlier that with these paints, you do need to, um, of course, with this lovely fine nozzle, it has, it's naturally going to block up, okay? That's what happens when the paint dries in the tube. There's no way to escape that. So having a safety pin handy is going to benefit you. So that is what I have got that stays permanently with my paints. Now, I've also got some of these ones here. So this is my magenta. It is a slightly lighter color of pink. Um, I'm gonna square that one out and some Dina Wakely turquoise, which is that lighter shade, much lighter to that one that I put out before. And that'll do for the moment. Let's get a paintbrush. Can't find the one that I want when I have 27,000 other paintbrushes here to use. There we go. Nice, big, wide, flat brush. I do have some water here off camera and I'm gonna keep this handy for just in front of me for color inspiration. I do always start with the lightest color, which is the yellow, and I'm going to work in a circle around, around where the face is going to go, okay? So you can see that I'm brushing it on like this. Um, my paintbrush is not wet. I'm wanting to overlap the colors slightly and I'm going to be layering them up. Okay, but I'm choosing colors that are going to be nice and deep and rich. Oh, look at that one. And I am not searching for perfection here. I am searching for getting color on my page. And because we're working with acrylic paint, we can layer up the colors as well when it is dry. So I can put pink over the top of green, but I can't do that until the green is totally dry. So I'm not stressing too much about the colors that I'm putting on at this stage, but I'm keeping, kind of keeping them separated a little. Possibly should have just cleaned my brush, but that's okay. All or nothing, hey? Just get in and get it done. So this is something nice and easy that you can do at home. Hopefully um, you'll be able to pick up and, and duplicate this sort of project. The paper collection, like I said, that um, arty paper pad is so easy to use because you've got lots of images there that you can work with. All right, so I've started a bit of a loose guide on where colors are kind of gonna sit and now I'm going to clean off my brush and go back in and fill, it, fill in some of these gaps. So I'm just drying off my brush, just off camera, cleaning my brush, sorry. And now I'm going to, so I have a towel. completely dry, get all the water out of my brush. It's not perfectly clean, but it's okay. In the meantime, what's happening is that's drying off quite nicely. So I'm gonna start layering on some more colors. Now I'm gonna start with this green because I don't want a whole lot of green and I can push the green to the background. Which means I'll be layering colors over the top of it. And it's a lovely, nice, feathering, casual, sort of lazy Saturday afternoon stroke going on. 
and you see what's going to happen. It's going to look okay. Bloody good idea by me. And I'm going to clean my brush off before I add into the next lot of colours. Okay, let's go with a bit of blue. Something while I'm doing this, something that I haven't mentioned over the last couple of days. If you happen to be in Adelaide and or South Australia, and next Friday night, if you are in town, we would love for you to come into Natalie May Scrapbooking here at Summerton Park and join us for a end of year Christmas celebration. We thought it was time to open the studio up to you guys as well and um, have a lovely afternoon or late evening with some festive food and drinks and meet you all face to face. There may be a couple of little things on special in the shop, if there's any stock left, um, and have some Christmas nibbles. Have a Christmas tipple if you feel like having a drink. You are more than welcome. Um, uh, but yeah, we would love to meet you. So if you're in Adelaide and would like to pop in, get in touch and we will actually we'll pop something in with your order. Um, a little invitation in with your order and you'll be able to get all the details on that. So we would love to, to meet you to come and say hi. So that is on Friday the 3rd, 3rd? Yep, 3rd. 3rd? 3rd of uh, December. Yep. <laughs> I nearly said November. Um, and yeah, so we would love to have you pop in and, and say hi. All right, so you can see where this is going. So when I pop her on the top like this, you can kind of see how the colours are all working in. You can see what's happened here as well. This is annoying. So I'm, I've left that there to show you and that bit there to show you how we're going to fix that in a moment. All right. So I'm just layering up colours on top of each other, blending them in slightly together. Purple. Got what I was doing there for a minute. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see the brain start ticking along? All right, do that. Purple looks great and blends lovely over the top with, um, or Aqua does, sorry, over the top of purple like that. And then I, you can see that I'm going to take this green now with, uh, that should have been a plain brush, but that's okay. Do you want water? No, no, I should have just stuck my paintbrush in the water. That would have solved more problems. Um, but I'll see you in the ladies tomorrow. Wonderful. I will see you in the morning. Have yourself a little sleep in. I'll start the day without you, babe. Sure. I'll see you with coffee. See me with, yeah. Yeah, don't show up without coffee. <laughs> All right, love you later. Bye. Bye. Right, I can talk about her now. She's gone. Now she hasn't totally gone. Now she's gone. Um, so yeah, we would love to have you pop in and, and join us here in Adelaide um, if you've never been in before. As you could probably tell, Louise and I are a very relaxed sort of casual people. Um, we're people, people. We're people here for you and we love what we do. So even Louise, the non-crafter, um, loves it too. So, all right. So layering up these colors, getting there. I want to work on this area now and I need to work on this area here. I want to get some more pink in there, but as you can tell, my brush is looking a bit gross. So I need to give that another rinse. Then I'm going to start with the yellow. Okay, 
So the yellow, of course, being the lightest color, I'm just gonna push those, push that over the top. And you can see my, I've got some big sweeping movements going on, and that's really cool. That's what makes this work. And you can see that my process of following the lines as well, following the circles as I, as I go, keeping that movement around like that. So my brush strokes are the same all the way through. So now I'm just gonna push that up into there, push that yellow over the top. This yellow here needs some more love. It does need a pop of yellow, as you can see. It definitely needs that. I could probably do with a bit of yellow up here for balance. You can see that it just goes blur, blur, blur. So let's just pop just a little streak up here. Maybe a bit more than a little streak. There we go. All right, now we're getting there. This still annoys me. I still messed this up. And this, because purple and yellow being opposite on the color wheel are not colors that work together. So I'm going to introduce periwinkle blue. Give it a good shake. Clean my brush. Jeez, I go through some paper towel. And this technique isn't hard. I know that I'm making it look easy and that's okay. Here's the thing, I love doing this technique and this is one of my favorite techniques to do where I use this sort of dry brush. Um, the art journal class for November, for those of you who do my classes, we really honed in on, on working on this process um, with the dry brush. So you guys will be experts at it. But the whole idea is you need to practice. So you can still jump online and join the November art journal class. My online art journal classes are designed for you to do at any time. They are a private Facebook group, which means that you can join in whenever you like and you can watch at any time, okay? so you have that advantage. So if you like the idea of doing something like this, but you're not real confident about it, that's okay. Sometimes I'm not either. Um, I've just popped a bit up there on top of that. I've got to get some more pink up there um, and a bit up in here. So if you jumped onto nataliemay.com.au, under the classes tab on the side menu, you will find all of the art journal classes that are available for you to do, okay? And I do believe that I try and make it really lovely and easy for you to do the classes. And I think it's really important that you uh, give it a red hot go and practice your techniques, okay? So confidence comes with practice, okay? And that is super important. All right, so there we go. We're starting to get there. I've still got a bit of a goober bit in here. So I'm gonna grab some hot pink. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments on the screen. Did anybody help me with the comments? They are not swiping across. Keeps popping up with a speech bubble. Oh, sweetheart, I've got no idea. Technology and I are just not a thing at the moment. The fact that I've got internet is nothing short of a damn miracle. Well, put it this way. In a minute, once I've finished filming this, I will upload this to uh, YouTube and you'll be able to go back and watch it, uh, Emma, with no uh, with no comments coming across it. So hopefully that'll help you. All right, so we are definitely getting somewhere now. I am going to pop a little bit more color over here. What's it gonna be? Because it's acrylic paint, I can layer. Layer and disguise. 
And in a moment, I mean, the focus is not going to be on this painting in the background anyway, is it? It's going to be on the image that I'm putting on there. And that is what we tend to forget. We get so tied up in making sure that all of our paint is perfect. Once we get the image on, the paint disappears into the background and we forget about it. So there's no need to stress over it too much. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've got a couple of grungy spots up here with no... Uh, with some white coming through, but I'm all right. That is going to sit on top of there. My collage paper is still coming through. I did cover that up a bit too much on that side, but that's okay. I think I might add a little bit of... I might add a little stenciling on it now. So what have I got here? Stencils, of course, today are 15% off until the end of today. There will be a brand new special tomorrow, okay? And it's not going to be stamps, stencils, and dies. So you won't want to miss out. Just saying. Uh, tomorrow's special is going to be... No, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I have got here the Natalie May scrapbooking stencil. This is one that I have designed and I've used this a couple of times today, as you can tell. It's looking a little bit grungy. And I'm going to use a foam and a blending tool. And a blending tool. And a foam. Oh, I'll tell you what though. I'm ready for a glass of wine, just quietly. All right, so what color do I do, do, I do my stenciling in? That is the next question. I don't know that I really wanna to add too much more color, but it needs a little bit of movement and it needs a little bit of dimension, so I'm thinking a little bit of white and uh, perhaps, let's go white. Let's go for white, let's see what happens. Safety pin. Actually, I'm gonna use white gesso. No, I'm not. <laughs> Welcome to my thought process. Am I going to do that? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. That's okay. Oh, good thing we're all friends here, isn't it? Okay, so my domed blending tool, okay, it's going to, I'm going to put the paint on and push the paint into the stencil. Um, now, this is a clean stencil. I'm going to have a baby wipe handy because I'm not overly confident here, but, you know, all or nothing. And I'm going to, again, follow the circle. Okay, okay. I'm going to tone that back. And I can do that with a damp baby wipe. Better. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay. Obviously, that's where it wasn't stuck down properly. Did you see that? I didn't swear. I thought about it. But I'll come back to that. Now, this is where the stenciling hides some of these areas. All right. Now, oh, yes, and for those new people just watching for the first time, I'm a real sort of, we'll call it warts and all crafter. Um, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert at any of this. That is certainly not my superpower. Uh, but you are very much getting a honest, creative process. Oh, okay, now we're getting there. This is looking good. And I would normally have sworn then. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Heather. You know what? It's because that particular piece of collage paper underneath, 
I obviously hadn't stuck down edge to edge, so therefore it hadn't totally stuck down and wasn't completely dry. And I was being a little rough with it. There's that. Okay, I like it. Picked up the wrong one. Need to fix this. Need to fix this before it gets worse. How do we fix it? Grabbing a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to use some gel medium to stick it down. I'm going to use my finger. Now because collage paper is super fine, and you know what, and a piece stuck to the Frickin' stencil, flippin' stencil, didn't swear, thought about it. Gonna hit that with the heat gun. So I stuck it back down, the piece that was there. Gonna dry it, and we're gonna dry it properly this time. Instead of Natalie doing it too quick and messing it up. And now I'm going to add some paint in here and hopefully cover it up. It's going to take a couple of layers apparently. But being in my art journal, it does not bother me too much because it is creative. Well, it is now anyway. Uh, when it dries, and I will let it dry this time, I'll put some more stenciling over that area and it's like it was never, never torn up, but I will dry it. Right. Let that cool down. Radio. so she is going to sit here. Now, when I close my page, when I close my journal, her it's she's offset. I don't want her on one side. I want her to be in the middle. I will make sure that she is stuck down really well in the fold. But before that, do I want to add anything else to my background? Absolutely. Stencil. Stamp. Let's stamp first. Let's add some stamps. So this is my blah, blah, blah stamp. Um, one of my favourites. And when you buy a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp, one that I have created, um, the they come as one big solid piece and then you need to cut it yourself. So there is instructions up on YouTube and on the Natalie May scrapbooking community on how to do that, okay? So we've got full instructions on how to, how to do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've just popped her in there for positioning and I'm gonna pop a little on here and I am not wanting a perfect stamp. I'm wanting a imperfect stamp because uh, I want the words to be kind of hanging out around the side of her head. As you do. So it's really giving me a nice imperfect image. 
but I'm going to take it off the page. And I'm just going to quickly heat set that because it is an oil based ink. So I just want to make sure that I'm not going to smudge it. And now let's add some dots. I do love me some dots. Just gonna take that's a lot. There we go, that's better. That makes me much happier. All right, so that little area that I just fixed. The dots, I wanna do that with a bit of depth, but I don't wanna do it in black because I, although there is black in here, I'm thinking I would much rather go with a darker color. So I'm thinking I've got this lovely teal color. And as as a zero, a zero, a zero, as ru, as as yeah, that one. Not even going to pretend to try and make that fabulous. And I want to grab a little bit of. I'm going to quickly grab another colour. Hold you, hold that there. Sorry, my paint trolley is in the other room. I usually create out in the um, main studio, but um, we decided to move my mess into my office this time. So I've got Night by Dina Wakeley, and that's a really lovely colour to do something like this next bit with. So I'm actually going to mix it together so that it is a, a new colour. And hopefully... Natalie, use the, a clean sponge. Anyone would think I haven't done this before. Some days, I tell you. So it's not this teal, but it's not a dark blue. It's a real in-between. And this is the colour that is going to add a little bit of dimension, I hope. Well, it does in my head, if that counts for anything. I can test it. Yeah, okay, so that's quite dark, which is fine. So I can again tone that back for the baby wipe, and that is better. Pop some down here. And I'm going to be aiming to put these over similar darker colours. I really don't want to do it over anything too light. And the good thing about it is, because I'm working on acrylic paint, I can take it off and make it less perfect. And you'll notice I'm still just using a wet sponge. I'm not adding any more paint. There's no need to. There's plenty of paint on that sponge already. Got to rub it back. Better. somewhere I pulled out my I've got my lump stencil that I'm going to use as well 
I'm going to put that across the bottom and I might stick this down next. All right, I'm going to add a generous amount of gel medium to the back of my image. So for those of you just tuning in, this is the image that is from the Artie Paper Pad from the Out of This World collection by Art by Marlene, okay? Right, I'm going to add the paint, uh, the gel medium direct to here. That's a lot. That's better. So I'm going to get it on. I'm kind of just taking it up to the edges and I'm not using a paintbrush because a paintbrush will put too much on. I don't need it to be super thick, but I need it to have a good coverage, okay? So if I do put it on with a paintbrush, like I said, you'll end up with too much on there. With this, you can kind of spread it out, kind of like, you know, you're putting Nutella on toast. Um, and at this stage, I'm not too fussed about not going right into the corners and into the edges, because I'm going to pick it up in a minute and give it a little love with my hands. That didn't quite come out right, did it? Um, bit of gel medium on my fingers is going to push out this here and I'm taking the chunky bits out the middle and just quickly spreading it with my finger into these bits here so it sticks down all the way around. And this is a very uncoordinated sort of thing, but you know, you go with what works. If I moved my journal out of the way, it probably would have been better. But you know. But that's okay. That'll do it. Okay. I'm gonna gently, I'm really focusing on getting it into the spine because that is important. And now I'm going to push it right out to the edges Now, am I going to I'm just debating whether or not I put gel medium over the top or if I leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Cleaning the gel medium. So gel medium is an excellent adhesive. It is very, very good for collaging. Um, and that is what we are doing here, but with patterned paper. So if I close my journal, the crease is gonna run down her eye and that is stuck down really, really well, which is what we are aiming for. No bubbles, no bits that I've missed. And we are good to go. Okay, so now that she's stuck on, what do we do next? I'm asking you. No, not really. I have a bit of an idea. I want to add some lumps. So I'm going to add some doodles. I'm going to get a little doodle on. And I'm going to use a combination of black pen and Stabilo pencil. I'm going to need a pencil sharpener which is in a safe place. Sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. Oh, where 
where is it? All right, this one will do. This isn't my favorite one. That's okay. So with the Stabilo pencil, I'm actually gonna go around my edges of my girl and give her a more drawn, it's very light, but we, I'm, I'm making her, make it, I want it to make it look like I've, I've drawn it. That's the whole concept. I know that it's an art by Marlene image. You know that it's an art by Marlene image, and that's fantastic. But I want to incorporate it into my page. So this is where, I'll do this bit last actually, because it's a bit time consuming, but that's where we want to, you know, make it our own, and that's kind of cool. So with my lumps, my lumps, my lovely lady lumps, I might try a blending tool and some of that dark paint. And I might even get a, go a little bit darker this time and go with a bit more night. Um, and I only want to use one of my lumps. So I'm going to get um, some masking tape over the top of that. And, whoops, whoopsie whoops. It's kind of like a, a post-it note strip um, so that I don't over stencil. And dab that on. Like so. And now I want to do it again so I can peel my bit of tape off. Choose another. Join them up. And I'm not fast that I it's not going across the bottom because I'm going to extend this out with a paint pen. So I'm just giving it a bit of a base here for me to doodle over and trace because it's easier than trying to, for this particular project, it's easier than trying to do this with a texture um, or, or a paint pen. Connected, connected, put my tape on there so that I don't mess it up. Because that's a distinct possibility. <sighs> okay. And the last little bit here joins up and takes it off the page. Works for me. I will, when that is dry in a moment, go over it with a, like I said, a paint pen that I can then like incorporate into my page. So back to my Stabilo pencil, I'm now just gonna take away any white cutting edges, um, make some of these marks on here. I'm not gonna activate my Stabilo at this point, but because this comes from a piece of paper this size, I wanna round off, I've just made these flowers at the top here round, so I just need to add some black to a, I wouldn't use a, a pen because a pen would be a different colour, but a Stabilo pencil or a black pencil 
allows me to be a little bit softer. And round that off. So any bits where you're a bit shonky with your cutting, well, that's just me anyway. You can get in with your stabilo and draw those marks in. So I was a bit shonky with my cutting up in here. And up in here, a big white bit there, I don't know what's going on there. But the, you know, the, the dodgy bits now are not the focus, okay? And that's important. I like it. Radio. So down here, I want to make this a little bit better to look at, um, not so partial. So what I might do there is grab myself a black paint pen. Uh, and I actually think I want a medium one, not a... You watch, I won't have one. Oh, I do have one here. Giving it a really good shake so I don't have to swear at it. Testing it. Oh gosh, and it works. Love that. So now I've got a guide that I can follow to loosely do some creative sort of doodling down in here. Hello Susie, how are you my love? Speaking of my number one baking friends, Susie is a, uh, a whiz in the kitchen. I do remember about 12 or so months ago she put a post up on Facebook that she had made a Turkish Delight cheesecake and I went, oh yes, baby. Feel free to drop some on my front doorstep. And guess what? Susie did. And I ate the whole bloody lot myself because nobody else in my house likes Turkish Delight. And that was the best thing that happened to me that week. So thank you, Susie. Susie, are you coming to our work Christmas casual get together little jobby thing next Friday night? Would love to see you, my friend. <gasps> are you about to make some Turkish Delight cheesecake? Get out of town. I'm just reading the comments. <gasps> Susie, I've worked really hard this week. <laughs> Actually, I bloody have. And I love you. You are my top customer. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. So, oh, carrot cake. Carrot cake is the bomb. I love carrot cake. Can we stop talking about food now? So now I've done those little marks across there. So what I do, also need to make sure that I'm gonna do is I need to add some more doodling in and around my page because this is really, really black and bold down here. So I'm gonna do some quick little um, paint pen marks around the place and I'm going to pop a few little bees, little bits and pieces around. And I'm overlapping them on my stamping because I need them to be kind of incorporated a bit into the page. Um, I'll pop some over here. One, two, I need to do a third, and my third is gonna come down here. And they are non-shapes, they, they're squares, triangles, they're all sorts of little weird shapes down here. They probably should be a little bit more consistent, but you know, that's okay. Um, I need a drink. I 
So there's my, my little dark black areas. Um, I'm just going to quickly run to the other room and grab my other paint pens. Let's be honest, that was more of a stroll than a, a walk. It's the end of the day and my brain's not quite working. <sighs> to add a few little marks in some other colors so I've got green here and I've got green on my page uh, I have red here but I don't have any red so I'm not going to use red I do have a little it's the kind of a yellow I do have a pink I thought I had a blue I have a white I need that what happened to my blue Navy, I've got that navy blue, that'll work. I've got that green, that, yeah, okay. So I've got a few matching colours out. Um, this is where I like these paint pens because the colours are, the excellent range of colours. If you don't have a paint pen, that's okay because you can put, um, you know, you can get a fine paintbrush and do a few little dots and marks with a fine paintbrush. So you can see that my doodling and my mark making is going to connect over where the colour is similar. There, there, I will need to come up here a bit. Uh, let's go green. Need to give them a good shake first. And I'm going to come up here and just do some little circles. And I'm just thinking marks. I'm not thinking about fancy patterns or anything technical. I'm thinking about making a mark on my page. for time. Have you guys got somewhere else to be? Have I got somewhere else to be? 4.38. Oh, look, I've been a bit over an hour. She'll be fine. Bit of pink. Okay, I'm knowing when to stop is important. Okay, 
Um, I do have to do some white dots because it needs a few little, there's white in here, so it needs that pop of white as well. Shake, 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 shake. This is the Pintor White in Medium. Uh, and I need to think of, what am I gonna do? I've got bold black, so I'm gonna go for bold white and I'm gonna connect them. So they're gonna go, and they're gonna overlap slightly into Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's my fault because I just pressed it out. Okay, one. It's connecting to these black dots. I feel like I need to do something inside these arches here. I'm just going through that process in my head at the moment. What do I put in there? Hello, Diane. Thanks, darling. I'm loving this page too, actually. Yeah, sometimes it, and you know what? I didn't really have too much of a plan when I sat down and I really like my last page that I did in the last live. Um, sometimes it just all comes together. I mean, the image here speaks for itself. The image has done all the hard work, hasn't it? So I still have to put a title across here because she just can't be a floating head. That's a no-go. Um, or do I do white in here? Or do I choose another colour? didn't need to do that at all. Let's wipe that off. Why didn't someone stop me putting that on? I didn't need that navy blue. All right. Do I sell the paint pens, Natalie? I certainly do, darling. If you jumped online to nataliemay.com.au and on the side menu, there will be a tab called a menu option called paint pens and they are the Pintor paint pens. I do believe they're quite inexpensive. I do like them because they are pretty heavily pigmented and that my friend is important. Okay I need to add something down in here. How what colour do I put in here? I'm going to go with what I see when I look here. I see teal so I also see blue. And I haven't used blue yet. And it was a good choice because it's nice and light and it's nice and it's adding a nice little pop of highlight under the little arches. And I feel the need to do another color. Which is this um, pale green that I have. And then I'm going to stick my title on. I don't talk to you about titles. I do this all the time. I love, my favourite thing to do for titles is, and everybody knows it, that works. Okay, put the pen down. Um, my favourite thing to do for titles is Thickers. Thickers are the best because all the hard work is done here on your 
Sticker sheets. So let's have a look here. This is just a few that I've grabbed off the shelf. Okay, so these are all available on the website under the heading, under the side sidebar total called Thickers. So this one is called Stories of Us. And hopefully you're not getting any glare. Let me just check the camera. Oh, a little bit there. Okay, that's pretty good. So they are ready to go for your projects. All right, so double-sided. Okay, and they are, these are kind of like a, I don't think they're black. I think they're like navy blue. Here's a baby boy one, and this one is in silver. So if you have got a, a small person in your life, I don't know if you can see that they've got a bit of a shine to them. I do like those. This one is called Go Goldenrod. And it actually says Goldenrod there. Uh, so these are gold letters. Uh, these are kind of like a, a really pale orange. We've got a, a, a skin tone here. Create, I love that. Okay, so Goldenrod. These are Vicky Booten ones. You know how much I love me a Vicky Booten uh, thicker. So these are great, lovely and colorful and easy. Look at that, colorful. The good stuff. This photo. Love this photo. Remember this photo. Live, laugh, love. Big love. Remember big. The good stuff. Yeah, so you can, they're sentence builders. They're fantastic sentence builders. Uh, this is called Casey. And this one is really nice. I do love these little, little leaves here. And these are a shimmery gold. They're a metallic as well. Um, pretty, hello, congrats, beauty, smile, happy. Uh, this is cool. These ones are awesome. These are called Sparkle. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but they are on a pink foam. So they have got this really lovely holographic silver with a pink foam, and they look so very, very cool. So we've got Sunshine, Inspired, Wonderful, Greatest, Sparkle, see the world, go big, saving the day. And then here's another one I grabbed off the shelf and these are glitter ones. This is called Sparkle as well. And we've got Fabulous Smile, Magic Awesome, Super Glitter, Love, Dance, Hello, Sparkle, Dream, Happy. So they're great sentence starters. Uh, I've got here, these are some, I, I've got pages and pages of these, right? So. This one is a Vicky Booten one. Um, I've got, this is part of the same pack. This is the Say Cheese one. And then you start thinking about how you can build a phrase or a sentence or something. Uh, so I'm going to use the good stuff. And it's going to sit along here because her head is floating. Um, before I stick it on though, I might take a little bit of paint and, and blur that line because that's just not going to work for me. So how am I going to do that? I should have done it before. Yes, you are correct. But I'm going to do it now because now is when I've thought of it. Got a little paint, got a thin brush. Going to push that colour around and I'm following that line still. My paint's almost dry. But that's okay. 
Rightio, we're nearly done. All right, so that's not so bad. Now she's a little bit more blended in and... Maybe it won't be the good stuff. Maybe that's a bit big. Uh, all right. I'm going to use the storyteller. But I'm going to cut it away so it goes across here because this particular word is just one big, it's all joined together. So if I cut it on the acetate, away, I'm going to make it work. You just watch. Is anybody still watching? Am I just creating a way with myself here? Because that's a thing. All right. So I have got some amendments to make here. My teller word needs to, the T needs to be rounded off just because I'm a bit of a stickler for trying to make it look, look half decent. Are we learning from you? Thanks. Oh, hello, Claudia. Hello, Isabel. There are some people there. See, unless the comments come up, I don't actually know. I mean, it says that there's people watching, but every now and again, I glance up and I only look at the comments to see if anybody's still there. So. All right, so I'm going to take that there. And I'll put that there. And the word, the, the word. I'm going to put there. All right. So using a, using the thickers to build, you know, to make it work for your journal page, for your project. It doesn't have to be exactly what you see on that sticker sheet. All right you have control of what it is. So when you are looking at, you know, perhaps purchasing some thickers, um, when I buy a set of thickers and I look at them, I look at the set and go, all right, how many potential sentences or journal prompts can I get from this sheet? So, you know, can I make at least five sentences? Damn right I can. And that is how I will, oh God, I've made this. That is how I will open a packet. It's when I can get a lot out of it that way. Oh, thanks, Diane. Diane's just poured me a glass of wine. Good girl. Love that. Is my Jessica May watching this? Is my Miss Jessica watching? Are you there, babe? I suggest you make sure there's a glass of wine ready for me when I get home. Oh, what is it? 4.55 p.m. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Let's get this last one on here. See, it's come off as one word, and it's got that little arch in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that arch up with the top of the O. Oh, seems Jess is not watching. Terrible child. Right, well, I'm exhausted. 
Where's my center? Hang on. There. Right. I love that. The only thing I'm going to finish off with is it needs a black frame all the way around. That is an absolute necessity. It looks a little bit bare on the edges. So I'm just going to do a very loose, that one's empty. Throw it in the bin. Yeah. A loose border with my black fine paint pen. I've got too much stuff here to let my hand flow down in a straight line. So tomorrow I have got, oh whoops. Tomorrow I have got some more live Facebooks for you. So I'm going to be back again at 9am for a morning coffee and a chat um, and a tell you all about the specials of the day and I can't wait to do that. Um, tomorrow's specials, I have got some cool things planned. Tomorrow I have got three live Facebooks planned. So we have a session at 10.30. We have a session again at 1.30 and then a session at 3.30, which is the current session we are watching. So of course this is Adelaide time zone because I'm in Adelaide. Um, as someone very kindly pointed out, why is your live Facebooks at, you know, Adelaide time? I don't know, because I'm in Adelaide. So, <laughs> um, which makes perfect sense. So I'm going to take a photo of this and I'm going to post it up on the page with a link to the products that I have used. Um, you will be, I'm going to upload this to YouTube tonight as well. I might actually do that with a glass of wine in a couple of hours time instead of right now. Um, but I hope that you have enjoyed that. So up until later tonight when I go to bed, you can still get 15% off of stamps and stencils and dyes online at nataliemay.com.au. You can get single tubes of Art by Marlene paint, which is what I have used today. They are $7.50 each instead of $9.30 each, which is fantastic. Um, so, great bargains online. There's some Art by Marlene watercolour paints on special. There's some t uh, Totally Tiffany storage solutions on special. There is all sorts of good, good, good things on special. So plenty of opportunity for you to have a look. And if you've already placed an order, don't forget that you can order again by selecting the no judgment pay, um, category and um, we will put all your orders together. So we will have fun with that. All right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I am, as always, super very grateful for your support and your friendship. And, um, and I really, really, oh, and holy heck, you guys have blown my mind by making a donation to ovarian cancer as well at the checkout. I have been blown away by that. I have a few little, um, couple of little pins and everything here that if you're placing an order, I'm trying to put in a, a pen or, or a bracelet or a pin or something to say thank you for your donation as well. Um, your $8 donation 100% of that goes to charity. It goes to the Ovarian Cancer Research Foundation. So at the checkout, nataliemay.com.au. And of course, most of you may or may not know, the reason I um, raising money, and I always talk about ovarian cancer, is because I have survived ovarian cancer as well. So you can, uh, at, at 37 I was diagnosed, you can go back and read my story on 
uh, back if you scroll back through Facebook there is a link there to my story but I'm super grateful for your donation and I'll try and give you a little bit of something back for your donation whatever I have got here to put in with your order so thank you very much for that it means more than you will ever ever know um, okay that's enough from me I need to take a photo of this get off the Facebook and um, again thank you so very much to everyone wash your hands kiss your kids be grateful for the people around you every day thank you so very much and i look forward to chatting soon